Data, Hello, this is Jay from Data Here to There. Today I'm going to be talking about dynamic pricing. It's a critical part of any e commerce strategy and will really set you apart from other stores and give you that competitive edge. So, what is dynamic pricing? Well, it all starts with the dropship suppliers. They'll give you a number of fields in the data, so the warehouse cost, MSRP, or manufacturer suggested retail price, uh, minimum advertised price, or MAP, uh, and shipping and handling fees, and there might be taxes and other fees as well in there. So as someone running a store, what do you pick, really? I mean, you've got all these different prices, and what do they all mean? Well, first of all, the warehouse cost is what it's going to cost you. When somebody buys a product from your store, that is your uh, ultimate cost. You need to pay that in order to ship the item. Then they add the shipping fees, they will add all the restrictions and so forth. So in terms of running an actual store, uh, you could use the warehouse cost. You could say, I'm going to give you the exact price that, uh, that I'm going to pay to buy this thing, but you won't make any profit. And that's really not a very good strategy. So the sky's the limit from there. I mean, uh, you could do any number of strategies. Uh, with data here to there, we have a few key ones that we offer as part of our standard plan, and we have additional ones as well for the more advanced um, uh, situations. So the most simple that we offer is what we call the MSRP, or Manufacturer Suggested Retail Price Strategy, where you simply take the uh, price, the MSRP, and use that as your store price. So MSRP is usually quite high. It's meant to be um, ballooned a bit so that uh, it gives you some distance between your actual warehouse cost. MSRP is, is always higher than warehouse cost. So that's one strategy. It's very easy, very effective when you're starting a new store uh, and it gives you some room to explore and, and to, to try things out. Above that, we have the MSRP adjust, where we can take the existing MSRP and then uh, alter it. So we can take maybe a percentage, or we can take a dollar off or add to the MSRP. And this allows you to price your products lower than your competition who might be using the same data feed, uh, but they might be using the MSRP. And you see a lot of that, actually. If you do some searches on, on Google, you can find that a lot of people just simply take MSRP. So we can give you a, a little bit better edge on that simply just by adjusting MSRP and then listing that as the store price. The next one, which is a little bit more sophisticated, is where we allow you to set a store margin. So let's say you want to set your margin to 25%. Well, that will mean that uh, every product that you sell will automatically add 25% to every product price. So when somebody goes through your store, they don't see warehouse costs, they don't see MSRP, they see the warehouse cost plus your margin. So that allows you a little bit more flexibility. Perhaps you want to create sales or you want to have a different store margin for different uh, times, we can do that. So as an example, let's say you've got a $10 item and we're adding a 25% uh, margin. We would list it on your store as $12.50. So it's very simple. Uh, very easy to roll out. Next above that we offer a category based margin so that's really handy for situations where uh, you want um, a different margin for different types of products and so a lot of drop shipping feeds they have all the products by categories and so you might want to have a loss leader like a, a type of category that just gets people in the door and once they're in the door then maybe you have other product categories that are listed a little bit higher so we allow you to set your uh, margin for each category. And then, of course, there's a default margin, too, in case uh, you don't cover all the categories. Uh, we have that as a catch-all so that you have um, a guaranteed margin above your warehouse cost. The level above that is getting into the competitive pricing where we engage uh, a web scraping engine. We will uh, analyze all their websites for you, get their prices, and then provide a price which is lower than those competitors' sites. 
So this saves you a lot of manual effort. If you're going to go in and, and check uh, prices and then go back to your store and update them, we can do that all for you. So that's the competitive pricing uh, has uh, really a really a, uh, awesome way to to uh, adjust your prices. We also provide a safety margin in there too. So you'll never go below or cut into your basic uh, margin. And then of course, on top of that, uh, we have uh, custom pricing strategies. So we can do uh, any number of things on top of that and really just to fit your uh, e-commerce strategy. So in summary though, no matter which option you pick, no matter what pricing strategy you want, uh, we enforce some really basic rules. So uh, the map that I mentioned earlier, or the minimum advertised price, we will never go below that. And that protects your relationship with your supplier. They create those map rules um, to, to protect their sub supplier. So if, uh, let's say you're dealing with, um, actually like a Garmin has a number of products that have uh, map values. Uh, other suppliers do the same thing. And what it does is it uh, protects their bottom line, so you, you don't sell below it. And if you actually do try to, then uh, uh, the dropship supplier will charge you the full amount anyways. So what it does, um, by enforcing that value for you, is we, we help your reputation, uh, we keep things following a rule. Uh, the other thing is that we never go below your warehouse cost. Uh, that would be basically making you lose money, <laughs> and so we really don't want to be doing that. But the warehouse cost is, is the ultimate bottom line. And so uh, we make sure that no matter what pricing strategy is in place, uh, we never go below that. And actually, we also set a safety margin too, so that uh, you're always uh, protected. Also, uh, sometimes you'll see stores that have zero price products. Uh, here in Canada, that gets into some pretty uh, shady territory because uh, by law, if you have something advertised for free, you need to actually give it away for free. And so we have uh, checks and extra checks in the, the software that ensures that we don't put prices on your store that uh, have a zero value. We don't want to give things away for free. The other thing is uh, some suppliers will stipulate uh, listing dates. So dates where you can't actually list the product. So that's really common with movie releases or video game releases where they want to ensure that the prices of the products and the products themselves are just not posted until a given date. And so we enforce those as well for you. And uh, overall, uh, with any pricing strategy, uh, it comes down to what fits for your store. And so uh, please uh, give us a call, or give us an uh, email, or visit the site. We're at uh, ecommerce.datahere2there.com. My name is Jay. Thank you very much.